on Leonard and AI. I can start even though the graphics aren't up. Thank you in advance for your willingness to listen to this. I, I expect what I'm about to say in the next few minutes will be of use to you and therefore maybe a few minutes well spent. I uh, will not wait for the graphics. The purpose of the announcement is to, um, the purpose of the talk is to make the announcement of a new project that Carl Page is funding and to provide a status report. Even though the project is very new, uh, we already have results to share with you and uh, I, I'm an optimist, so I'm optimistic that you will uh, find them useful. While I have a chance, I'm going to give you a uh, link uh, that you can go to to see this project and use it. It's lenrdashboard.com. All one word, L-E-N-R-D-A-S-H-B-O-A-R-D.com. If you go there, you'll be able to see and use what uh, I will show you. Well, let me uh, use the time. Um, many of us believe that the impact of uh, artificial intelligence will be as broad and deep, that is, as widespread and as important as the internet. Okay, now if that turns out to be the case, then we will be using it both in our private lives and in our professional lives. And I believe that it is uh, necessary for us to pay attention to AI in order to stay competitive as scientists. So you see the uh, title up there, Progress Report on the Use of Modern AI Tools for uh, LENR Research. So I'll go through this rather quickly since I'm taking up the time. So we, we have two goals. The first is to use available sophisticated tools to mine the existing LNR literature and the results of that should impact ongoing research. Uh, I believe that uh, one of the uh, large communities that's going to benefit from this project is uh, our community, the LNR Research Committee. The second is to design new tools and deploy them so that we can do a better job even than is possible with current search and, and uh, chat kinds of uh, capabilities. And these new tools will reduce the barriers for newcomers to come into the field. So we're trying to serve the LNR community, the broader scientific community, and also the public who are interested. So I'm gonna show you three uh, graphics in a row here of what you'll see when you go to the dashboard. This is a history, left to right, of the number of LNR publications. And you can go and uh, click on uh, any year you want. All the publications from that year show up. The ones that are available as PDFs and they come up very, very quickly are here. Click, you have it. You can um, uh, go through that with uh, uh, great success and great speed. Now, th this is a complicated graphic. Each dot is a person. You probably can't read the names. You can see some of the big dots, Peter Engelstein, Ned Storms, Akito Takahashi, and so forth. And the connections show the collaborations, that is the papers that they have published together. So if you uh, cl click on uh, Tanahiko Mizuno, all of his papers appear on the right. Click PDF and you get it. If you click on the bars, the papers that they have published together come up immediately. And again, PDFs are available. Now the one that's a, a little more interesting is a cluster diagram. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Each dot is a paper. If you know anything about principal component analysis, uh, you'll get a better feeling for this. So th the mass of LENR papers, uh, and I forgot to say it, uh, there are some 5,000 papers, and we already have 4,000 of them full text in this, uh, based on the work over the last couple months. And, and we're expanding it. We're going to um, deal with firewall papers by putting them in there so you can search the results. You can do chat GPT kinds of things on them, even though you won't be able to download them. So getting back to this, if you, um, uh, papers that have similar characteristics are clustered together, this deserves much more time, but uh, you'll be able to do a search thing like um, uh, Barry in 1997, biotransmutations. Show me the five papers that are most similar to that paper. They'll come up. Okay, so if you're doing a uh, topic-oriented uh, project, whether it's a term paper for a student or a uh, research paper or whatever, you'll be able to get on top of things very quickly like that. Uh, I thought, okay. Um, there was supposed to be a picture of the people involved. My colleague, Anasi Berry, at New York University is leading it. I'm helping with it, and there are eight students involved, very, very good students. 
and we expect to uh, have rapid progress over the uh, year of the project. And I say, if you want to get a feel for it already, go to uh, LENR dashboard.com, not dot org, not dot net, dot com. Okay, thank you very much. Some questions, thank you. Thank you very much, Dave. Thanks, Dave. This is a really neat tool, uh, especially something that I've been trying to uh, talk about is sort of uh, making the learning curve easier for sort of newcomers to the field. I've been working also with Anthropocene on sort of tagging and summarizing certain papers. We should definitely chat and potentially join forces. No, absolutely. Yes, of course. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, yeah we, we will, um, the fact that it's being funded by your institute will ensure that we will collaborate. <laughs> so, just a question, is it based on ChatGPT? Okay, currently there's um, the capabilities that I just showed you. You can do searches. We have the SOLR, Solar Commercial Search Engine there, and there will be a chat capability in the near future. So you can go in. Just a warning, my experience. <laughs> I uh, use ChatGPT because I wanted to check uh, if there were any counter uh, paper, let's say, or counter argument on the experiments on rock breaking by Carpenter. And he said, ah, yeah, this is controversial, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I said, okay, can you provide uh, some, uh, some papers? And he, in you know, five seconds, he spits out uh, uh, some papers. I could not find them. <laughs> I think they may he'd make it up. I mean, uh, there was the page, the, 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 the journal, the page, everything. I located the journal, the page, and was another thing. After that, I said, sorry, this is wrong, I cannot find it. Ah, you're right, I spit another one, and that one was wrong as well. So, be careful. Yeah, I appreciate your warning. Uh, my, our, my daughter and I did an experiment. We used ChatGPT to look up nuclear resonances. We uh, carried on a conversation, and then we asked for the sources. We got 30 papers. 28 of the papers were fabricated. Okay, the difference between that... Yeah, but, but please note, the difference is that is a general AI capability, and this is built only on the LANR literature. So if you get something from this, you can check it, okay? I found out that 28 out of 30 were wrong by going to the Google Scholar and trying to find the, uh, the papers. But this is a, a, um, a limited sandbox, if you will, that uh, might just turn out to be much, much better, much, much more uh, truthful than general AI. Okay, so it's a working on a closed pool. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, it's exciting stuff, so thank you for sharing it. Um, uh, do you have plans to use it for like predictive modeling and stuff like that, like by using all the data sets that you have? Or, you know? For modeling? That's an open question, yeah. Um, one of the plans that is for sure is that we are only processing the natural language right now. We're not processing the fav uh, figures or the tables. So one of my challenges to the colleagues is to be able to do image recognition on the figures and interpret the figures as well as the tables. Now, whether we go beyond that to couple the output of this into models is uh, undetermined right now. So, like using OCR and trying to get uh, multimodal type of integration, is that kind of the plan? ChatGPT does that now. Yeah. Some, somewhat, but it has problems with the. Yeah. Okay, so when I was talking about input the modeling, I was talking about something slightly different than you were talking about. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll run that yeah, down. Yeah, we'll talk. Bob? Thank you, excellent, David. That's a brilliant initiative, and thank you to Carl for supporting it. That, that's where it's going. Um, it, for those people that want to use GPT um, without sharing information, for those that are commercial or whatever, you can actually, uh, and it's openly available, you can install private GPT on your own computer. I've done this, and I installed, uh, I, I put in 52 uh, Ken, Ken Shoulders articles, uh, both his own and others, and then I asked it, what is an EV? And it says, well, an electric vehicle, it's blah, 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 blah. But um, uh, it then came up with paragraphs from many, many documents. And so I'm asking a natural language question. It comes up with some nonsense, but it also came up with segments from different papers, both his own and others. And then it gave the paper 
and the section from that paper. So this is a practical tool you can use now for free, and even when you are trying to protect your IP, I, I hate that I said that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I understand and appreciate it. Um, the people with whom I'm working at New York University are um, very capable, very sophisticated, and uh, very aware of the legal uh, you know, ramifications of what they're doing. So there's some danger that we may do it right. <laughs> so thank you for your attention very much. Uh, I, I'm sorry to detain you. Jacques just asked a good question. I appreciate it. Will it be updated with new papers? Yes. Okay. So we're, we're going to try and keep this, um, you know, there's a conference, let's see, in uh, Poland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to keep it current as long as we can. So... 200 years from now. No, I... <laughs> we have one more question okay. from an online participant. Um, can we... Testing. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hey. Yeah, hi, this is Jed Rothwell. I have implemented uh, chat GPT at LeonardCanner.org. It's on the top menu. Um, the problems that you described uh, with hallucinations and so on can be greatly reduced by lowering the AI temperature, and I have succeeded in doing that. And I uh, invite anyone to come and have a look at it. Uh, you, can, you can type in all kinds of questions. There's some example questions and answers. So just go to leonardkenner.org and select Leonard Kenner Chat GPT. It's right there. Yeah, Jed, thank, thank you. I very much appreciate your uh, coming in on this. Uh, for two reasons, it gives me an opportunity to thank you for the assistance over the years and also with this project, and also to note that um, uh, we're, we're uh, going to be able to do better than you in some fashions by having more papers and uh, also by um, this uh, firewalling that I was referring to. So anyway, uh, chat, uh, Jed has been a big help so far, and I am Glad to be reminded to acknowledge it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I could add all the ones that are firewall too, actually. That's a good idea. I've got a thousand of them too. That's a good idea. Okay. So thanks, Jed. Good. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, let's thank our speakers again.